Sophie has been given important visits in recent years on behalf of the monarchy, but they have been gone under the radar due to publicity surrounding more high-profile members of the royal family. The Duchess of Edinburgh is believed to be one of King Charles' secret weapons with a more prominent role set to be lined up for her. Sophie has been given important and impactful visits in recent years on behalf of the monarchy, but they have been gone under the radar due to publicity surrounding more high-profile members of the royal family. It is thought that she was particularly close to the late Queen Elizabeth II since joining the family in 1999 following her marriage to Prince Edward. And it is believed that her influence has grown over the years and has seen her make historic trips, including a four-day secret visit to Iraq last month. Daily Mail's royal correspondent Richard Eden wrote in his Palace Confidential newsletter about the little coverage that she gained in her recent landmark visits. He wrote, It was an important visit, but attracted very little media coverage, partly because the government didn't want to publicize it until after it had happened, for security reasons. When Sophie became the first royal to visit South Sudan in 2020 and the first to the Democratic Republic of the Congo last year, her trips received similarly little attention. The Duchess of Edinburgh made the trip to Iraq to raise awareness of one of her long-standing causes. Sophie spent two days in the capital Baghdad where she continued her work championing the survivors of conflict-related sexual violence. While there, she heard about the challenges facing Iraqi women and girls, and the ongoing work to protect and promote their rights, Buckingham Palace announced. In the dark at hours, we sigh up all the chain of breaking through the born day. Free and free time remain with the free hearts. We spread our wing and take flight. We take a brother's sea. The world in different light. Oh, we're shining on the line. Oh, we need a light. We're breaking on the free and we're bringing a friendship. All the way to go, feel the wish and the gold and down. We need a bottom free. We should have been high when we're waking the light. But I'm breaking for the free and I'm down to the fresh. And no one had a gun on my shoulder and hold it down. We could avoid our freedom through. Trying more in freedom, bro. I will take it more freedom, bro. I will talk it no one may. Through trying tribulation, we have come, we come so far. A ledge, the hour of meditation, and the shooting star. The way then, with then, with the avocado, with the corner, every life, gonna let me fly for the freedom, bacon, back or something. Sophie became one of few royals to have visited Iraq, with King Charles, as the Prince of Wales, traveling to the country in 2004 when he visited military personnel in Basra during the Iraq War. In 2006, Prince Philip, the late Duke of Edinburgh, made a surprise trip to see British troops in Basra when he was 85. 